and you can see our busy busy chart here as I bring it in so let me just walk you through what we're looking at in here again cycle analysis for all of the people in here that are new and have not seen our analysis in this uh, yet um, other than what I showed you in the Dow analysis uh, earlier in the show what we're looking at in here are the cyclic rhythms that we see in here each of these as they make a higher high and higher low and ride up the positive momentum each of those give you a real good picture of money flow and how the market was riding up but now things have changed. You had this island reversal here. We did not think the gap would get filled because we thought that because of the, lo out, the longer term pressure from the uh, cycle I showed you in the Dow turning over that exists in all of the indexes, that this would not be able to make it up there to a new high. And we thought it would stop here. You can see the abandoned baby right there, this reversal there. I'll blow it up for you to see. And what we're looking at in these cycles right here is really a change as the minor cycle right over here was supposed to bottom, but it's not really bottoming. It's not able to get any kind of a rally going. And the upward momentum that began on April 15th, that was 10 weeks ago, is now lost for the first time. There's a blue down arrow there that you basically can't see because it's in that muddle of drawings. Uh, but we have lost the upside momentum. So the, we had these buy zones that the projection oscillator was throwing off. It's now ended. We, there'll be no more of that as the momentum is no longer positive. And this may turn negative pretty soon. The fact that it turned down where it did, we had another potential track in here that could be more positive. We removed that. Uh, the alternative track is now removed because of this formation and this weakness in here. Getting below that 78.6% at around 3,004 would be a bad thing. We're projecting this wave on the downside that goes into around July 9th to get down to this area of about 3,000 and potentially down to 2,965, which is this low right over here. Once you break underneath this low, um, that this rising phase, which I said is very important, well, it simply becomes a declining phase and uh, has a lot of risk. It could stop here at 2965. It could head down here at 2830, which is one of our first targets here on the downside. So remember, our intermediate targets are here at uh, 2830 and around 2650 uh, in here, which uh, is that level of a uh, 16 percent correction off of the high so this is uh, in our opinion a market that is turning over there is a lot of risk in here and uh, we think that this whole period right in here is risky followed by some kind of a bounce and another very risky period out over here that takes you into uh, a late into July or the beginning of August the timing of this cycle to that bottom is around August 1st uh, if there were another cycle in there, it would project even much lower. We, you know, we're not projecting that. We're projecting the correction to end around the first the week of August based on what we're seeing in here. So this pattern is really working out uh, as expected. Downside risk is now much bigger. Uh, through 7-9 and then uh, into August 1st, we said two waves. That's what we still think we're going to see. Momentum now neutralized for the first time since April 15th. Uh, and uh, I think that we're going to see uh, potentially some very heavy selling coming in here and that momentum turning negative. So target for the next week or week and a half is down here, 3,005 down to about 2,965. It could get worse. Uh, and then after that, definitely worse. Some of the evidence intermediate pattern rolled over. Uh, uh, the short term has weakened, as you see in here, uh, as this would be the first cycle that didn't make a higher high like all of the previous ones as it fails right down over here in resistance. Uh, and uh, that uh, the, uh, de the declining phase that I showed you in the Dow uh, and that I've been talking about all this time really feels like it's affecting the market now on the downside and that we will continue to have uh, declines. That would make rallies sales. If you get big up days because of some news, it would like, very likely be false. 
and be followed by continued uh, decline, just like you had this uh, abandoned baby, this decline, this false rebound right into the resistance zone, and then moving down again. This resistance zone is moving to the downside right now based on making lower lows. So we will be updating these charts in the next several days for our level four members, level three members in the simulator ranking system, level two members in the SIR um, snapshot. So you'd be seeing all of those uh, in our charts. That's it. I mean, we pretty much have a pretty negative uh, uh, set up in here. Um, people might call me bearish, but uh, I'm bull bear agnostic. I just follow these charts, and uh, all I want to do is bring you the highest probability of success as you learn the type of things that we do. Our, our, our win is you becoming a better trader and wanting to get more and more information from us. That's what keeps our uh, team getting paid and uh, what allows us to keep bringing more and more high quality information for you so your win your betterment as a trader is our win and that's all we want is to make you better at what you do